Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to remove one of these and install a new fridge. So first things first, if you pop this up, open, and you just got to sort of like, there's a little, little catch in here. So you either push it up there or you can just sort of like lever it up like that and that'll come off. This side's a little bit harder, but if you just jiggle it around and lift it up, so there's like little, uh, little bit to the catch right there. Let me just change it to can yeah. little bits that catch right there as you can see so they just sit into like these bits here you know what there we go they sit just in those bits there and this bit there so you just got to push it up or lever it to pull it out and um, it looks like there's sometimes screws here if there's a screw there there can also be a screw there and apart from the screws on the other side I can't really see any at the moment but um so there's these these bits here, mine's snapped off, so I don't know how long that was snapped off for, but it goes in like that and then up. So you can see my screw holes right there, so you just remove that one, and the same on the other side. And then I had, let me just close this, in my case, I had um, two screws on this, so I had the screws, one there, and the other one there, and then this on mine just pulls out, just like that, and you can see all the years and years of stuff that's leaked down there. So then there's that one and that one, and they can be a bit tricky. If your door doesn't open all the way, you may need to take the door off first, which isn't too hard. You just need to unscrew these, see if you can get something small in there, just to turn it around, and then just take that off and then the door will come off which I think I'm probably gonna have to do to get out of my door. But um, I'll show you the other side. If you're ever trying to get heat from one of these uh, one of these fridges, just to uh, bring inside to the inside, it's good if you can um, sort of like separate the hot side from the side that's supposed to be cooled. And then um, what I did to get a bit of additional heat when we're in Tasmania was um, put some, uh, some aluminium onto the exhaust like that so it can wick the heat straight up and in front of the fan and it's actually this got so hot you couldn't touch it so that worked very well and that is a way to bring some heat inside after you know and if you can see that is a uh, pretty pretty isolated from one side to keep it hot and to keep the other side cold this actually did help as well with running the fridge because it didn't get so so hot in the part that's supposed to be cold worked very well and i have another fan on the outside if it's too warm inside we can pull the heat out all right so once you've taken the screws off the front you um there's just two screws here there's one screw there and there's one screw here which mine was not screwed in here i don't know why but it wasn't so i just have to take this one screw off and now it actually moves like you can push it forwards as you can probably see the hole was here and the screw is there so i already pushed it forwards a bit but obviously Turn off the gas before you do anything like that. The gas is on the bottom. Well, mine was right here, right there. So I closed that off. So now I should be able to unscrew this and detach that from the system. I'm also planning on disconnecting the power cable and any other cables that are coming from under here, which it looks like it's just a power cable. So it should be pretty sweet with just disconnecting this. And then everything else should just pull straight out. And that should be it. I'll uh, show you when it's out. Alright, so once you've disconnected the gas and the um, electricity from the back, made sure you've you know, taped and released to make it safe so it won't touch an arc out or anything. Just uh, push it from the back because it'll be a bit hard from the, the front unless you can really get your nails under. So just give it a push from the back, make sure there's some on the other side. And they helped me with uh, making sure it didn't just slide out and fall. So now it's like this. We can kind of just... We've also taken off the doors. Yeah, I took off the doors because I don't think it'll fit through this very easily. I don't know if I can take these off, but we'll see as it comes. And get really heavy really quickly. Alright. Oh, that is heavy. So just when you're removing it, make sure that, uh, come over around here, oh, this side, this side, um, that the exhaust isn't actually screwed in. This is, with mine, I gave it a bit of jiggle and I saw there's no screws. So just make sure you can slide it straight out and there's no screws in. 
but it should i think most of them will probably just slide out and yeah as you can see there's nothing else holding the back of the fridge in and i'm ready to uh attempt to remove it out of the door so i'm not going to film that because it's going to be really painful i'm definitely going to need two people but um so that's fridge coming out i'll show you the next fridge going in So after a little bit of cutting, as you can see, it is directly against there. And well, at the bottom, it's directly against it. Just had to pull that in a bit. This is ridiculously hard to get out. Oh my God. This is like woven and pushed into the actual fridge. So I'm gonna have to re-glue that and probably bend that back and nothing been can't really do much about the cut part. But it fits, oh my God, yes. Look at that massive fridge hole. It's so much. And this is gonna be the top of our drawer. I said if you want to change the door side, which is we don't because it actually opens conveniently. But we got it in. Did you ever see that? That comes off and goes here and then goes in there. So you can open it the other way. Yeah, just figuring it out. So this is a new fridge we got inside, old one's out. Look at that piece of garbage. Ugh, so disgusting. So let's put this in. Keen. So we're just drilling these in the sides. We did chip it a little bit, unfortunately. So hopefully that's not going to be too noticeable. If you can notice, you probably can. So um, I screw four in there and then push it back flush and then it'll be laying on that and then I screw them in here. We're gonna get some black screws at some point so that it'll uh, look a bit nicer, black on black. And that'll hold the whole front where it's supposed to be and I'm gonna go straight through the metal in the back and I'll show you where that is later. And then we're just gonna wire it up and then it's done. So I just put three bolts through here to secure the back down. Probably don't really need to, but you know, why not? easier to do it than just not to worry about it and then new fridge completely in and it is solid it's not going anywhere all the cabling has been done it's just positive and negative straight to the connections that are already there which is fantastic i might run another positive there's already a positive cable here just need to connect it up there's just no negative so i figured i may as well do them both at the same time and then uh done bushman's fridge installed nice and easy way easier than taking the old one out that's for sure so Bushman's fridge is in, completely finished. We even got the little uh, little black bolts, which are looking very dapper. And took all the cover off, so it's all nice. And um, so we've been, we've actually had this in for probably like a month. about a month now, which is um, a great test. And it has been working flawlessly, as you can probably tell in here. All the ice is iced and everything is frozen. Everything is totally iced up. So it's been really good and no complaints. The only thing I think we've actually had to worry about is this little fella right here, this little lock. So with the rubber bands, it's a solid lock, like solid. But without the rubber bands, we went on a pretty, like we've, we've taken the caravan pretty um, dodgy areas where there's a lot of, you know, articulation. And um, we have come back and it has been like fridge stuff everywhere. So, the rubber bands made a big difference with that. Even though we locked it, it still opened. I guess it just, like, I don't know, leaned like that and then popped off or something. There was some pretty dodgy roads that we took it down, so it does make sense, I guess. But yeah, so um, that's something to think about. If you're gonna be taking it on like full drivey tracks or like just questionable areas, it might be good to put a couple rubber bands or modify it in some way, a bit of foam or something. We'll probably go with the black rubber bands eventually if we can be bothered, but for now, works perfectly. And yeah, no complaints. This fridge has been amazing. Absolutely amazing. And yeah, as far as power consumption, it's not too bad. It goes about seven amps, maybe maybe five, five to seven amps, I reckon, when it's running. And it runs every now and then. It's been really hot lately, and yeah, it just runs every now and then. We've hardly noticed it. And on gas, we've probably... Oh, what do you reckon, Nay? How much longer has our gas lasted? Well, we haven't changed it. It's been a month. So yeah. We used to change it every two weeks. Yeah, so we used to change it every two weeks and it's been a month and we had and we haven't changed it. And not only saying that, but it wasn't a full gas tank when we did get this fridge. So Bushman's fridge, highly recommend. They got like I think a two year warranty or five year or something like that. They got they got a warranty on it and um yeah, solid fridges. Definitely recommend them. And yeah, peace out. Catch you guys in the next one and like, subscribe, hit the little bell thingy and all that jazz. Catch you guys in later.